Welcome to part five of the Heriot Way in the North Yorkshire Dales National Park. In this section we walk from the YHA Grinton Lodge all the way to Aysgarth Falls. Right, let's go for it. This is the last section of the trail. So yes, it is a 52 circular mile walk, but obviously myself and Steph will be doing a lot more than 52 miles because there's plenty of add-ons where we've gone off to explore little places, visit cafes and pubs and also little churches and things like that along the way. And um, we both had a pleasant night at the YHA and uh, yeah, I would highly recommend it if you're in the area. And um, we've just had breakfast, a couple of granola bars, a few chocolate crepes, a nice hot cup of tea. Yorkshire tea to be precise. How are you feeling, Steph? I need to stop doing that, catching her by surprise. It's really mean, isn't it? I just put a camera in your face and expect you to respond. <laughs> I'm really mean, sorry. Are you feeling good? Yeah, good, good. Yeah, cool. Good to go. Right, we'll see you on the trail. Bye. Unfortunately, um, these things happen, but Steph is kindly boiling some water for both of us on her jet boil. And look at the views that we've got behind us. Check it out. A swale dale just behind me. And the clouds looking very ominous, but the forecast is hopefully going to be good today. Just overcast with some sunny spells. Steph reckons this big dip in the ground might be an old mining shaft. It does say so on the OS map, there's a lot of dismantled mining works here. Camera doesn't do it justice, but it's actually quite, quite deep. actually a hunting lodge and I believe it is unlocked so should we have a little look around? So in previous videos I've seen people do this trail it has been left open as a shelter or oh, it's even a log book and a little charity pot there and we've got a toilet as well So when you come to a, a lodge like this or a bothy, sometimes you find a log book where you can put your name in, the dates, just to make a point that you've been here and leave some remarks. So what Steph has written here is, I was here but now I'm not, I'm round the corner smoking pot. I know that wasn't Steph really, <laughs> your face. It was by someone uh, whose initials are HP. <laughs> I wasn't Steph that wrote that. Uh, some of them are quite quite funny, um, but I can't repeat some of them on camera. <laughs> What's the date? The 28th of July. There we go, that'll do. I was 
just thinking we haven't really had to negotiate. Oh, there's a fly on my screen. We haven't really... Fly, go away! Right, there we go. Uh, I was just thinking we haven't had to negotiate too many cow herds on this trail, which is a positive, apart from when we did the first stretch on day one between Ace Garth and Asrig, where the cows were very uh, excitable. And now as we approach our last stretch of the trail, we've now got a herd of cows. Behind me is Bolton Castle in Castle Bolton and we've just popped into the tea room for some lunch. I had a lovely slice of Bolton pie with some chutney and a can of pop. And Steph uh, had a nice sandwich and a cup of coffee. So if you are this way, up in the Yorkshire Dales, pop into Bolton Castle. Now it is the summer holidays, so end of July. And I thought a place like this would be a tourist hotspot, but it's not a huge amount of, uh, well, there's not many people here. And in fact, quite a lot of our, our trip, we haven't seen many hikers or people walking about. Um, the big villages and popular tourist attractions like Reef and um, Ace Garth Falls, they were quite busy, but the rest of it, not so much. That really surprises me. Um, so if you are a walker, come up to the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Get out here, get rambling, get exploring. There's so much to see and do in the moors and the mountains and the, the rambling countryside that is up here. And also check out places like this, historical, of historical significance. Um, Yorkshire has so much to offer. Where is everybody? Come up north. We are now on the last stretch of the Heriot Way, heading back to where we started on Monday at Aethgarth Falls. And it's been a fantastic route. I've been really genuinely enjoyed this trail. If you've never been to the Yorkshire Dales, make an effort to, you won't be disappointed. There's lots to see and do here. Would I recommend this trail? Most definitely, give it a go. My advice is to follow the instructions from the guidebook and I'll leave a link for that guidebook in the description area below. I do recommend doing it over four days. Myself and Steph, we made up our own itinerary because that's a thing that we like to do. But if you've never done it before or you don't know the area, yeah, stick with the guidebook recommendations. You don't have to do it all in one go. You could do a section here and there, break it down into smaller chunks. You can camp it, b and b it, view hostel it, stay in hotels. There's plenty of accommodation at the various different villages and towns that we've passed through. And all that's in the guidebook as well. So it's a really informative book to get hold of. Highlights, the wild camping. <laughs> that was quite special. Probably my favorite wild camping spot to date, even though it did rain. Um, the food's been fantastic. The local hospitality and catering is second to none. The people are friendly and polite. There's lots of really interesting features to see along the way, like waterfalls, but also the industrial heritage of Yorkshire Well presents itself in terms of all the different mining works that we've passed through. So Steph, if you don't mind me asking, what's been your highlight of the week? I think the highlight has got to be that wild camp and that spectacular location. I know it rains, but I didn't detract from it at all. It's just stunning. Yeah, that was quite special. I also quite like the waterfall uh, on day two. Oh, that was good. It's what like was it? A hidden gem. Millgill. Mill Gill. Yeah, that was slightly off track, but it was worth seeing. It's worth a diversion. So yeah, I'm sad that the trail's coming to an end. It's been an absolutely epic four days. Well, four and a half days. We started at 3.30 on Monday afternoon. And what's the time now? It's uh, almost 3.30 on Friday. So yeah, that is five days, isn't it? Yeah, it is five days. But we took loads of breaks, we made the most of it. Right, I'll see you shortly. We've still got a bit more walking to do. 
and in this section the grass is rather long. I don't want to trip over. We did it, we did it, we did it.